It was a busy and familiar rush this morning as parents dropped off their kids after summer off. But not everyone is feeling as optimistic about school. Catherine Stevenson is a mother of a pre-kindergarten daughter and a seven-year-old immunocompromised son. She says that she's worried about the increasing community transmission of COVID-19. She says her kids will not be heading back to class until they are able to be vaccinated. Community transmission in the face of no other public health interventions going on is a problem. Stevenson is also a part of a group that is trying to start a school for immunocompromised children in Saskatoon. It's an option for some parents, but others have no choice. Shauna Crassman and her husband are unable to work from home. They have to send their 10-year-old daughter to school. I'm not super confident about her safety level. I am hoping that it's that it's a little better just because we are so rural and the school is smaller. University of Saskatchewan epidemiologist Nazim Mohajran says that the big four school divisions in Regina and Saskatoon are well prepared. But other school divisions in rural and remote areas are still lagging behind with measures including masking. The responsibility of uh, keeping children, staff, everyone in schools safe uh, from this Delta variant uh, is uh, downloaded to school divisions. And school divisions are in a very tough spot right now. Nazim Mohajan also says that with the increasing cases of Delta variant in the province, the provincial government should recommend guidelines and requirements to school divisions in order to keep all the children safe. Pratish Deyal, CBC News, Saskatoon.